welcome back to episode 48 of the Jimmy World Road to the Show. Ladies and gentlemen, today, 45 and 60 Marlins versus the 36 and 24 Dodgers here in Dodger Park, in Dodger Stadium, in Dodger World, Dodger Land. Who cares? We're in Los Angeles. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are chasing none other than Barry Bonds, Julio Urias on the mound. We are at 69 home runs on our quest for 73 to tie. And 74 to take over as we fly out to left field for out number three. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are last year's Rookie of the Year. We're looking for an MVP. We're also trying to hit a home, 100 home runs this year and win a gold glove. We are on the quest, and so far, I think we've got a good chance at all of that. Shout out to MLB The Show Implement. And that's the one, that's my biggest, one of my biggest gripes is if I put the PCI down, I don't care if I'm early, don't put the PCI up. Being early should be deterred enough to swing on time and not also moving my PCI where I didn't put it. Here we go. That one's going to be ripped and it is a base hit in the hole. They are holding him as a throw over. It is going to, oh, he went through the stop sign and he's safe. And we are in there with an RBI single. He definitely held them at third and he just blew through the stop sign and the history continues. It's now two. Apparently it went from zero to two. So that's awesome, even though the hit streak's in the 70s. No big deal, but hey, I need some home runs, so I might have to power swing. Although, maybe a walk here. All right, we're not getting walked, so we will take that. We do need four home runs just to tie Barry Bonds in this series. Five to go ahead, and I thought the way we were hitting last series, we would do this in one video, but we might have to, we might need two videos to do that. So I will sit here until I hit home run number 74. Top of the fourth, and it's never going to happen if I'm swinging at circle change pitches near in the dirt, but good circle change there from Julio Urias. 55 pitch count, two runners on. Let's go ahead and bring those runners in. We do got a three-run lead. Let's extend that. Great curveball. Disgusting. Just disgusting bender. Broke so much more in than I thought it would. I thought it would go straight down. It did not. Top seven, five to two. Reyes Moronta on the bump. 17 pitches deep. Ah, I didn't see what he's got. I didn't see what he's got. I didn't know what his velo was. 96 and we were early. Not even close. This is a three-pitch repertoire up to 99. Slider change up. All right. So the change up goes all the way up to 90. So we should be good. Good take there on the change up. Actually, that was kind of nasty. That broke away pretty well and it was only 88. So if he pumps 99 and then goes to 88, that might not be good for us. But here we go. Good eye pitch in the dirt at 97, so 88 to 97. All right, I'm, I'm doing calculations in my head and trying to get this guy's timing down. Don't worry, I got him. That, nah, never mind, I lied, I lied. All right, at least we do got a hit so far, but I would have liked to have hit a home run in game one. If not games two and three, we're going to have to turn it up a little bit. Shout out to our offense, and we popped up. We got a good pitch to hit. Got a little bit under it, a little bit early. That's probably our last at bat. We've had no defense in game one. So that's okay. It means lots of strikeouts and flyouts at least. But top of the ninth, up by two runs, Scott Alexander. All right, here we go, Jimmy. You got to turn up for the boys one time. And put it over the wall here in Dodger Park Stadium World Land. I don't, I don't know. I don't even. Dodger Stadium. Dodger Stadium. Yeah, we're in Dodger Stadium. All right. And that's going to be ripped in a hole for our second hit of the day. Unfortunately, it is not. It is not a home run, but no big deal. I've still got confidence in Jimmy World to turn up. Game one, we take a W. Don't you worry. We're chasing Barry Bonds here. We're gonna hit some. We're gonna hit some home runs here today. We're getting close. I can feel it. Might not be this episode, but we are getting close. 69 home runs, and we're still on 69. Now we got Walker Buehler, so at least we know he's got gas, but he's also got a five pitch mix cutter and a two seamer knuckle curve. That was the pitch. That that was the one. I was absolutely the pitch to do it on. I just had to wait half a second longer and not move my PCI and hit square, and that ball would have been caught. But there is a backdoor slider. All right, so that's the fifth pitch. It's a slider, cutter, knuckle curve, two seam, cutter, four seam. Easy to remember, easy to pick up, right? No big deal. Good try with the slider once again. Easy read. When you know what pitch a guy has, it makes it a lot easier to hit him. So find out what his repertoire is, and you'll know which way stuff is going to move. Unfortunately for us, it's a fastball. He has a two-seamer, he has a cutter, he has a knuckle curve, and he has a slider. So he's kind of got all of the movements. Wear it. 3-2 count, though. It is now full. We got Jazz Chisholm, the designated hitter, on deck. Uh, still very salty that Jazz is our DH when he's got higher fielding 
than my second baseman and shortstop. That's ripped. That one's deep. Look it up. Let's go. And that is number 70 for number 14. We're getting a little bit closer to Mr. Barry Bonds. 405 to right field, 105 off the bat. We will celebrate Don Madden with a little fist pump. Showing a little emotion. We love to see it. And like I said, I, I figured off a guy who throws a little more ched. Might be a little bit easier for us to get a couple of big flies in this episode. So Walker Bueller, you may be good, but it makes it a little bit easier for me to hit you. Good try with the knuckle curve, a slide step, a little pitch out with the knuckle curve. It's it's a little unorthodox. Not sure why you would throw a knuckle curve for a pitch out. I know it's not a pitch out. All right, relax. Top of the third tie ball game with a runner on. And once again, what? Oh, I thought for a second we would bounce one over the first baseman's head and Freddie Freeman jumps up and turns a double play on that. No big deal. Top five still tied. Uh, make solid contact for a hit. Let's go. Let's go with that. Make solid contact. Same situation though. Two outs in the top of the fifth with a runner on and still a tie ball game here in Dodger land. And I'm calling it Dodger land, all right, because I live in Florida and we have, uh, what's it called, Disney World and California has Disneyland, which was the original, but sucked because Disneyland fits in the parking lot of Disney World. That's called poverty, if you ask me. That's called living in Los Angeles where Half a square foot of real estate costs you a million dollars, which is insane. Yeah, it's under, it's irrelevant, but Disney World's awesome. Disneyland sucks. Top five, runner on first, tie ball game. Walker Bueller, 75 pitches deep, so he's getting to that point where if we make good contact, we'll have a double on that one as that one stays fair. Mookie will play it in, and he threw it away. So are you scoring? Nope, we got Freddie Freeman getting to that one and cutting it off. So what we didn't score on that second and third. It was two outs, I guess. Alex Vesia is up next lefty. Great change up. And there goes my PCI going up, even though I would literally had it here to start and went down after the swing. But since I was early, it goes up. I hate that. It's stupid. Don't, don't tell me that when you swing early on a pitch, if you're out in front, your bat starts. No, don't tell me that because no, that's stupid. You can still swing through a pitch and be early on it and still swing through the plane. Don't try to explain hitting to me. I understand hitting better than you do. Top of the eighth inning. And here we go. I might as well have a degree. That, that should be a thing in school, right? Where you just learn hit, the mechanics of hitting. That would be, I would go back to school if that was a thing. All right. I would quit everything I'm doing, go back to school, get a degree and teach hitting for a living. There we go. Finally. Number 71, and that's a big fly. Yes, sir, we're going to do it. Number 71, and we will touch them all. Oh, look at the face on Don Madeley. He's hype. Look at the face on Don. We got a fastball up in the zone, 95. We're not going to miss that, and that'll untie the game. That kind of looked like an A-Rod pimp. That kind of looked like the way A-Rod would pimp his home runs there. If I'm not mistaken, that's what that animation is. I could be wrong, but that's, that's A-Rod. We'll take it, though. 71, two in the game. I'm trying to skip through this. Two on the game. We do have a two-to-one lead, and Tony Gonzalez is in. We're three for four in the day, so a good day at the office at the least. That's going to be just foul. We pulled that one just foul. Luckily, because I guarantee you if that was fair, uh, Freddie Freeman would have would have made the play. He 100% would have made the play. We got a runner on first with two outs. Let's extend this lead to three and give our... Closer, a good setup. That's down, and we're early on that as well. 93 with the fastball. So back-to-back -back pitches, fastball down, and we are unable to stay back. So relax, attack, and let the hips do the work. Jimmy World at the plate. Back door, little splitter. Not going to be there as it splits away. It's a one-two count. Tony in a little bit of trouble. He's, he's staring deaf in the eyes. He's scared of Jimmy World. I would be too. And he throws another pitch up in the zone. 94, we spit on that. He's telling him, hey, signs, okay, okay. If I touch my nose, it means no. If I touch my pant leg, it means no as well. Just let Jimmy World hit. That, that's the signs I would be giving. I wouldn't be giving anything else. I would say, don't do anything stupid. Let this man get in that bat. If you run into an out, you're going to lose your job. Thank God we fouled that off, and the count remains 2-2. Two -two. Probably should have taken all four of these pitches, and we'd have a walk, but... We're trying to hit number 72 on the season. So, Tony, I'm going to need you to bring it up a little bit. No, no, no. Of all the pitches I thought we should have fouled off, 
That's the one I think we should have fouled off. Anyways, we head to the bottom of the ninth with a one-run lead. Shout out to our closer for getting a save. Yes. And now we are two home runs away. We're at 71 now, right? We're at 71. We're going into game three, chasing Barry. And all we need is one. One to get. I want two home runs this game. That's my goal. I want two home runs at least. And we got Trevor Bauer. I think I've hit Trevor Bauer pretty decent. And the thing about Trevor Bauer is he doesn't throw his fastball a lot. As soon as I say that, he throws fastball. What I mean by that is Trevor Bauer is craftier than he is uh, overpowering. So he will mix other pitches as we line one. Let's go! Base hit. Hit streak continues. Thought that might have been caught by Belly. But he's too high out there to make a diving play. So shout out to Belly for playing that on the hop. We take it. That's hit streak number zero once again. So we're out there killing it. Shout out to Jimmy World. And let's get back to work. We're down by six runs. So a nice little cushion for TB. Not TB12. I don't even know what. 27? Unfortunately for Trevor Bauer, he's currently jobless. Or fortunately, depending what side of the coin you fit. Doesn't matter. Not going to discuss it. I don't care. And there's ball two. 2-0 two and oh count to Jimmy World. Top of the fourth. Yeah, he's a multimillionaire. He's going to sue the living crap out of MLB either way. So it is what it is. That's ripped. And it's a perfect, perfect line drive. I mean, it's nothing more poetic about this baseball game that... When I'm perfect, perfect, I feel like my batting average is lower than I'm than when I'm just early, just late, very early, early. I'm pretty sure I hit a lot better when I don't perfect, perfect the ball. So here we go, top of the six. Still stuck at 71. And we will take that for ball one. Yeah, 71. Uh, I definitely wanted to hit two home runs this game, at least. And I'm early on that four-seamer and underneath. So... Luckily, we didn't make solid contact there. Let's go ahead and try to crack into this lead eight. A home run cuts the lead in half. That would be a good start. That's not a home run, and it's definitely not getting through either. And a spin throw from Chris Taylor to Freeman. And there are two outs, so definitely not getting two more at-bats. We'll have one at least. And yeah, we'll get one, and it's going to be off Reyes Moronta in the top of the ninth, down by five. So, Jimmy Rowe, low-key, I thought this was going to be the epi, so... I ain't going to say none. I ain't going to say nothing. We missed the pitch. We missed the fastball middle, middle. Definitely early on that. Exit velo of 100, launch angle of 62. That ball should have been obliterated, but we were a little bit early. That is terrible. By the way, I did move the camera so you guys can stop complaining about it. I'm going to be honest. I thought when you batted right-handed, the camera was on the other side. So I was like, uh, either way, my camera is going to be blocking the PCI on one of them, even though I do bat left-handed more. And then I realized while I was editing... It's always on the left side now. That wasn't like that before. So I guess we'll have the camera on the right above the scoreboard. Hey, I think we might have gotten into one. That's deep to right field. And it is to the track. Why is the stadium so... No, wait. Let's go. It's gone. Number 72. We were so close. But there is number 72. We are one home run away, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, that's my third home run of the game or our team's third home run of the game? Either way, we got we got another home run. We are so close to Mr. Barry Bonds, but we're going to take a loss in the last game of the series. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did and you're ready for that chase for 73, 74, and then 100, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.